back yeah, buckles. Okay. Each you one individual. You have to, you know, be gentle about this. Just buckle her in. Right. What a courageous young woman. Right Earlier today, we shot a test using sandbags to simulate Dorothy's body weight. Here's what happened in three minutes and 37 seconds. It could happen to Dorothy. ...to use to restrain the criminally insane, and this is an extra restraint, the, what they call a crotch drive, okay? Now, take her two arms, pull them as tight as you can, don't be gentle, make sure you get out any slack, and then keep the tension and strap it in the back, okay? Now, keep the tension and pull as hard as you can. Go ahead, just pull it right through. There you go. Get it right in there. Can you get it? Okay. Satisfied? Yes, okay. Thank you. Dorothy's feet are now being secured to the rope, which is attached to the carriage of the parachute above her. There's a great deal of tension here right now, not only on Dorothy's part, but on the part of her assistants. In many, many ways, her life is in their hands. If her feet were not securely bound, they could slip out, causing her to fall to the ground. Concentration and precision will make the difference between life and death. Get ready. All ready to go. Move out uh, back. The ropes okay, on start fire. The razor. Dorothy will begin her fight for her life. Need I remind you, ladies and gentlemen, that this is one performer we cannot possibly help should anything go wrong. There are no nets, nothing. Dorothy insisted on that. All we can do is watch and hope for the best. There's another danger involved, too, ladies and gentlemen. Being upside down like that is very difficult. After so many minutes or whatever time, depending on the person, you can black out. And I'm sure that Dorothy would like to be able to be in an upright position before that could happen. The fire still burns, but Dorothy seems to be quite calm enough as she finishes the 150-foot ascent. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Dorothy's reached the top and the race is on. The rope is burning and Dorothy is moving as quickly as she can. Will she do it? There is no guarantee. She's literally a woman fighting for her life. It's now been one minute and 32 seconds, and you can see she's still working. Wait a minute. I think she's got one arm almost worked out of that straitjacket. One arm is free. But she's still not out of danger yet. That fire is still burning. She's starting to get out of the jacket. But how long can that rope hold out before it snaps off? No one knows. Dorothy is working calmly, but very intensely. She's a brave girl. That's a tremendous height. Now she's working on the other arm and the back of the jacket. But we can't bring her down until she's completely out of the jacket. That's the arrangement Dorothy's made. She's, she's done it. Yes, she's done it. I think she's out of the jacket. Yes, she's out of the jacket. Here it comes. An incredible feat from that height. But it's now two minutes and 40 seconds. And I hope the rope still holds on. Come on, get her down. Dorothy is being let down, but she's still at a, still at a height where she could fall to a death. Seconds are ticking away now. Remember, the test was three minutes and 37 seconds. Let's hope for her. She's coming down all right, but seems too slow to me. That rope could still burn through. The excitement and tenseness is incredible. She's closer to the ground. I think she's gonna make it. I think she's going to make it. That's incredible. Unbelievable. And it's certainly a hair-raising stunt.